Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Derptopia. My name is Fiasco, thank you so much for joining me. Today, you're probably confused as to where I am. We have been busy. Uh, we got like right to business with building stuff and we have built ourselves some mob farming stuff. At least most of it. This side still needs to be completed. Uh, it was pretty late last night and I ran out of white concrete, so I just stopped. And now today I need to record a video that doesn't include this farm, so it'll have to wait a little while. But this thing is a beast. It really cranks out the mobs, and it looks really good too. We uh, we decided to go a little bit bougier with it and go with the white concrete, even though it was kind of a pain to collect so much of it. We needed uh, uh, like two double chests or something like that, but as you can see, this thing... Uh, gets great rates when the other side is fully completed it will get much better rates as well right now it's definitely not as good but still functional uh, I, I can afk here if a need to but we are not going to be working on this today we are going to be working on something else and we have lots of projects on the go right now. We have our base. We have a wither skeleton farm that I'm trying to get a good design for. Uh, we've just got a lot of irons in the fire right now. And I need to work on something completely different. So yes, we are starting a another project today. Yay. Also, watching mobs go up this water elevator is never not funny. Um, I was having a real fun time watching the glow squids and the dolphins go up there. They were having a blast. And this is what it looks like from the bottom. Pretty cool, pretty imposing. Um, the white concrete, the blue water, it all goes together really well. So super happy with that. And we do have a nether portal, but we are having a little bit of trouble with some portal linking right now, just because of how many portals are in the nether and the difference between the X and Y values that we're trying to achieve is causing some issues also our storage area has improved and i believe they are building a or they're trying to build a nether portal that looks like the stargate so that is a project that i just can't get involved in because uh it sounds awesome and i don't have time to help so we will uh wait and see what they come up with there i know mags and ryan were both really really working on it so we are going to head back over to the portal that i think should still be working and uh hopefully we come out in the right spot and i'll show you another project that we were working on in the shopping district hello stupid ghast that's right you can't see through glass dummy so if we go on through our portal we end up here and this is what uh, the council's contribution to the shopping district so far has been. Um, Ryan, Mags, and myself uh, spent quite a while building this beauty, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, it took us a while to figure out the roof and what we wanted to do with it, and then I just went through and ruined the whole thing, and I think it turned out really nice. In addition to that, we spent a long time clearing the trees out of this place because this is our shopping district, but it was just a forest before. It's a dark oak forest, and it has been converted technically to be a mushroom field biome so that mobs don't spawn here, which, if you're not in the know, that's just the thing to do these days with servers. Just convert something else to a mushroom field biome uh, so that you don't have to terraform an entire mushroom field island because that is a hassle. So we've just been picking away at the trees here. Uh, we cleared enough so that there could be a, a nice little starter area here. But yeah, we're going to need to take the rest of these down. And it's not a terrible task, even though it's a community thing, because you get to keep the wood that you cut down. So free wood. Love it. But that is not what we are going to do today. We are going to build a shop. That's right. I'm going to make a shop. And we've got lots of ideas for shops in the works, but, uh, oh, there's Khan. Uh, this is Khan's shop that he's making, and, oh, he saw me. <laughs> I think he's got uh, moats on. Uh, let's throw him. That's for you, Khan. A headless fiasco? Oh. Oh. My head is here for me. Um, uh, yeah, there's a bug where people can't see my face right now or my entire head. So 
Uh, yeah, I'm the headless horseman of the shopping district. Now, where do we want to build our shop? This, to me, kind of feels like a good area. I think that some of these, that island maybe was claimed, I believe, by Hani. Um, yeah. In this game, never. Yeah. Uh, nope, no bugs in bedrock. That's for sure. I kind of want to build it on this hill. It's a little far away from the portal, but it would definitely uh, catch attention. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's clear this up, flatten it out just a hair. Now our maximum footprint is 25 by 25, which is actually quite a bit of blocks. So I think that we need to just kind of figure out our back corner here. And we may not be needing all of this space right now, but it is good to grab some land for later on, because as our shop uh, grows and gets bigger, uh, we may need room to expand. So I am going to grab all 25 by 25 that I'm allowed to. Two, three, four. And although I am part of the council and we will have shops that are for the council and uh, community-based things, this shop is going to be a personal one. Now, I'm allowed to have two shops, as per the rules, so I'm thinking one will be my personal shop that I can just have some fun with, and then the other one we will be uh, profit-driven and money-hungry and yada, 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 and I'm sure it will do very well. We are working on, ooh, a cave, uh, getting a rocket shop set up, because those are always a hot ticket item, and we actually don't have access to the end quite yet. So we may uh, jump the gun a little bit and try to get a rocket shop set up before uh, there's actually elytras, just to get ahead on the competition. So shh, keep that quiet. We don't want anyone knowing our secret plans. And I think I might actually bump this back a little ways so we can kind of have an overhang here. Uh, for future projects, maybe going vertically, it would be cool if we had a, you know, a skyscraper or something, and part of it was exposed down there. So, let's bump this back, so I'm a little farther back here. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about this placement now. We're taking up more space in the back here, and I think that that'll probably bug people less, too. It, it was a little bit much... Uh, me grabbing all of this land up here. It looked out like I was being a little bit greedy. But, first come, first serve, people. If you want a good spot for your shop, get on over here. Uh, and I think um, people should know that this is a marked out area. So, I'm just going to put this right here right now. Bam. All right. Let's... And I'll, I'm going to put that there so people know this is under construction. That's the universal symbol for construction. All right. Let's go get some supplies. And as I mentioned earlier, our storage room is expanding and looking amazing. This has been Ryan's project, and he has been absolutely killing it. Now, of course, with help from uh, various members, and it looks like they're going to try to build the Stargate. Are you kidding me, guys? Oh, boy. All right, that's going to be awesome. All right, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Now, we have got other projects. Oh, I forgot to mention a project earlier. I need to build a super smelter over there. So, yeah, another project that I just uh, don't really have a lot of time for right now. Um, but we will get to it eventually. Now, let's get our inventory emptied a little bit so that we can uh, collect as much terracotta as we need. A baby turtle. Oh, hello. Hello, hi. Aww. The cutest mob in the entire game is the baby turtle. Oh. Oh. So cute. My heart. My soul. And after much resource gathering and uh, some uh, pre-stocking, we are ready to start building. And we are going to be building something that's supposed to look a little cartoonish. We are going to be building a dollhouse. Now, why would you build a dollhouse? Why build something so creepy sounding? I am going to be selling armor stand display things. So what I have in here is a full stack of... What? What? Oh, I swear, these things were all at 64. Things keep changing with the dyes, and I don't like it. Uh, anyways, I've got almost a full stack of every die. I guess I'll have to go and get the red stuff. Um, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be selling stuff so that we can make armor stand displays. And I guess I should gather stuff and show you what I'm talking about. 
So we have a pack on the server that allows us to mess with armor stands in a really unique way. And this is what I'm talking about. We have got mob heads that can go on armor stands and then we can change the armor stands uh, to suit our needs. And look at, look how cute. I think I'm going to, there we go. That's more like it. Our tiny little sun over here. And I think we need to do one more yet, yeah, and then we can get rid of the base as well. So using dyes, we can uh, do all types of neat stuff with armor stands that you just wouldn't be able to do in vanilla Minecraft. I now need to rotate him all the way back. But basically, I'm going to be selling kind of pre-made kits for these. So I'll have the armor stand, I'll have some mob heads, I'll have the dyes that you need all renamed to what they do, like that one is visual. And I think that this will just save people a lot of hassle because just getting the dyes is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, I'll also maybe sell a book that explains how to use the mob heads and things like that. I'm not sure yet. I'm also going to be selling services for displays. So if someone around their base wanted like a villager here pruning a, a beehive or something like that, I would try to set that up for them. Am I very good at armor stands? No, I don't know a whole lot about them actually. I've only just started playing with them, but I think that maybe it's a service that I can jump in on and then if someone commissions me to do stuff, it can kind of be a little bit of fun for me. So I mean, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out and I'll just use the shop space for something else, but I think that it's a good idea and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now I need to make a bunch of armor stands, which means I need sticks. So now that you have an idea of what I'm going to be doing, I think that we can have a lot of fun with this. And I'm going with white terracotta for the walls because it kind of has a pinkish hue to it. And dollhouses, ah, rats. Uh, dollhouses in my mind are pink with like a, a brown roof. So we're not gonna go for a build like trying to make this look like an actual house. This is supposed to be a, a dollhouse. So it can be like blocky and chunky and there doesn't need to be like a ton of details. I'm also gonna try brown terracotta for the roof because I think that'll look cool. But let's uh, get building away here, see if I can get a structure going. And I've got some uh, smooth stone coming up here so that I can make slabs, so that I can make armor stands because we are going to, the real decorations in this place will be the armor stand displays. We want people to know what we are selling by just walking in here. So let me uh, putz away at this and see if I can get something that looks half decent. And from up here, you can start to see why I chose this spot. This is the highest point so far in the shopping district that has been cleared. Uh, so even though we're not as close to the portal as con shop or the totem shop, we still will be noticed because we are king of the hill. So, I mean, like, you can't argue with this view. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. And it looks like the mushroom fields biome ends basically right there. So I don't know how many people will be building into the water, uh, but that means that we can actually maybe punch out uh, a fairly large window here just to just to get a good view of our bay back here oh amazing now it's not done yet but this is what i'm thinking for the dollhouse and look at this guy he's falling off the roof this is the magic of what we can do with armor stands now. Um, I can make the one that's holding that pickaxe invisible and angle it. And this is a micro block that I have for cobblestone. I kind of imagined he was doing a little bit of maintenance on his roof there and then slipped off. I can also, let me show you something real cool in here. Look at this little guy. I managed to get him inside of this glass block, and I think that that is just a perfect little display, uh, as well as these tools here. I think that this is looking super cool. Now, of course, I've got a lot of work to do in here. This is not close to being done, but we've also got our witch up here attending the little flowers. And uh, basically how this should work is people will come in here, They'll grab all of the dyes that they use to change the uh, dimensions and shapes of the armor stands, and they'll grab a few armor stands, probably 64. I'll just do a whole stack of armor stands and then maybe a whole stack of mob heads as well. Now, Ryan was kind enough to give me a whole bunch of pillager heads, but I do want just the regular villager heads because I think that those look actually quite a bit nicer. So we'll get witches, we will get uh, 
pillagers and villagers and basically anything that looks uh, humanoid-ish that we don't mind. Also, these guys aren't wearing clothes yet, but this whole shop is basically to showcase what you can do with armor stands, and then if people don't want to do it themselves, they can hire me to do it. I think it's a great idea. Also, we are going to utilize all of our space, so I'm going to extend our fence all the way here so that people know this is all our property, and we are going to make sure that uh, there's no complaints by making some more dioramas and displays over here and just saying, hey, go check out the property, go take a walk and see what can be done with armor stands. Now, the issue with armor stands is one, they are so much fun. Two, they take a long time to get right and do properly. And also the leather for the clothing is going to be an issue too because I don't really have a leather farm right now. And all of these fellas need leather clothes. Maybe for the adventurer diorama, I can use armor. But uh, if you were tending your garden, you wouldn't be wearing an, an iron breastplate. So I need to get a bunch of leather so that uh, our villagers can wear clothes too. So I'm in love with this idea. I think that it's a very unique shop. It is just very time consuming right now. So I'm basically going to turn off the camera just put my nose to the grindstone for the rest of today and probably have to work on it tomorrow as well because there is a lot of work to do here. And after what is a remarkable amount of time in the real world later, we have our shop. Now, let me take you through it because I honestly, it's been so many days, I don't really remember what I have shown and what I have not. Some of the highlights. One, it's adorable. Two, it's perfectly framed if you're at this-ish angle. So what you can see from here is our witch in the window tending the flowers. Our little, he's supposed to be a guard. He's the only one in armor on the fence on the left-hand side. And our tradesman falling off the roof. He was making some repairs. And oh no, something went wrong. And now he is... Uh, just absolutely whiffed it off the roof. And probably my favorite display of this whole thing is our guy being carried off by balloons. Love it. Over here is now my second favorite display, which was my first favorite. And this is Angry Bee Gets Revenge. And I used a nitwit head because their eyes are outset rather than like the green pixels being on the inside like they should be. Uh, because this little kid looks so stupid. And the bee works perfectly. Bee is a bee head. This is a bee head. And it works perfectly because this is about the size a bee would be in real life. Uh, it's about half as long and there's no wings. But you get the point. You know, the angry bee is going after the dumb kid for taking his things. Over here we have the uh, parent and child, and this is also to show the l size difference because this is a jumbo armor stand, and actually the one up there is also a jumbo armor stand, but I made it that way so that you could see him kind of at a greater distance, uh, a bit of an optical illusion type of thing. Uh, this one is just to show kind of a parent and child playing. Uh, in here, now the interior of the shop is not 100% buttoned up yet. I need to, in these chests, this is what a starter set is going to look like. Uh, and in fact, I'm actually going to take out the mob heads and add more armor stands because I just don't have enough mob heads right now to include them in every starter set. So mob heads will be sold separately for another diamond or two. You can get five. Um... And then, yeah, so in these barrels, you can grab your starter sets up here. Just more display stuff, basically. You can peek out with the witch and say hello. Uh, the shopping district coming along here very nicely. That rocket shop that Ryan set up looking great. Now, there is a few little uh, a few little Easter eggs in here. Also down here, we have our fire. And I wanted a fire intentionally because the smoke uh, attracts attention, specifically attention up to our balloon guy from outside. And that is all I need to draw people in. So we have a little fire scene down here. Nothing terribly fancy. I might add some meat here and there or a little table or something. But for the most part, I've spent so much time on this shop, I need to just, like, get it going. Now back here, 
the show doesn't stop because this is all still our property. Don't forget. Uh, I have put a a marauder uh, scaling the walls, trying to break into our little compound here. And um, it's kind of hard to see from the bottom. Uh, but yeah, basically he's climbing that chain. And up top, I had that chain wrap into a hoe, which kind of looked like a grappling hook. I spent a lot of time on it, so let's show it. Uh, so if you look up here, there's this little hoe uh, just sneaking our way up here. It's a grappling hook on the fence. And then, so if you were looking at it from up here, you might notice like, oh, father, child, wait, what's going on down here? And then you would have the little Easter egg of seeing our dude climbing up there. Now, there is one more display that I want to put in here, but I haven't made it yet. I haven't showed it on stream, and I probably won't show it in this video because I want people that play in this world to find it themselves. And right about... I need to add another grass block. I'm a little too low right here, but if I could have another grass block right about there, it would be about perfectly framed. Um... So yeah, I'm so happy with how this came together. So yeah, that's uh, what's going on over here. And I'm very happy with it. And honestly, I've just been... It's taken a lot to get this shop stocked up. And these dyes all took a long time to collect and then rename. And now I've got to get mob heads, which has been a real pain. Uh, but we are getting there. And we are just about ready to open. So I'll show you the book that customers will be greeted with when they see the store. Welcome to the dollhouse. Please take a look around the property to see the magic of armor stands. You will find armor stand starter packs inside the shop barrels for sale, along with other goodies. Or you can contact Fiasco to do a display for you. Simply message Fiasco on the Derptopia Discord to arrange a quote. Explore the property well. There may be a few Easter eggs. So this is my uh, little introduction to the shop so they'll know like oh go into one of these barrels okay I'll buy this and then I'll have a price here as well they'll put the diamonds in take the inks out and the um, and the and the armor stands and we are good to go also armor stands don't let them fool you these are cumbersome to craft you need a lot of wood to craft some armor stands so it is, in my, whoops, opinion, a pretty good deal. I'm going to sell these for, like, just a few diamonds a piece. The real purpose of the shop is to get me commissions to make armor stand displays. And I have a very, very fun idea, which is why I have these mini blocks in my inventory right now. And if I haven't gone over mini blocks with you, uh, they are small blocks. Look at this. It's so tiny. Uh, I actually don't remember why I grabbed this one specifically, but I must have had a reason. Uh, we have a ton of these back at the base. We have been absolutely jumping on wandering traders. And so I got to just kind of take my pick of the litter because the ones that we don't use, we are going to sell. And I will probably sell them in here because mini blocks work the same way as armor stands basically this is not an armor stand this is a mini block that i just uh manipulated with gravity the same way that i did armor stands so yeah very similar type of product that i can also sell in the shop here we're not quite ready for it as you can see uh i'm not ready really for anything just yet but i've worked on the shop so long and i want to move on to my base that I kind of need to button it up. At least getting these starter sets ready for sale and then some mob heads as well. Uh, at least the mob heads that would go well on armor stands. I'm not going to sell Ravager heads uh, because, quite frankly, they don't look as good. I mean, that does kind of look like a grumpy uncle at supper, but, you know, I'm not sure if people are in the market for that necessarily. Also, most of this work was done on live streams, so if you feel like catching part of the process and watching me make things like these armor stands in my base and whatnot, please follow me at Fiasco Plays on Twitch. I would greatly appreciate it. So that's where I will say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fiasco. Catch you in the next one.